while it is true that the sun has set on a beautiful day here in Saginaw, Michigan in the Saginaw Bay Arena, they're in, there is still plenty of time left on this Saturday for what is sure to be an incredible college hockey game. Tonight, the Chippewas are back in action, looking to take revenge on their close loss to the Cardinals of Saginaw Valley State University just a night ago. Happy Halloween and welcome inside the broadcast booth. This is Reagan Cleaves and I'll be guiding you through this one as the Central Michigan Chippewas have made the 50 mile trip east to take on the Saginaw Valley State Cardinals and wrap up their weekend home and home series. A great rendition of the National Anthem by the Saginaw Valley State Hockey Band. That's something you don't often see, and I'm glad I get to see it. Starting that minders tonight, Thomas Rolf gets the start for Central Michigan. He's 2-1, and one, a .75 goals against average, and a save percentage of 9 uh, 61. As for Jacob Winners, the SVSU starting at minor 2 0. 1.00 goals against average, 978 save percentage. Starting lineups for Zondik, Hayes, Lasky, McComas, and Nadu for the Chippewas. And for the Cardinals, Brandon Marshall, Brett Nelson, Travis Nemeth, Zach Hudson, and Ethan Schneider. Left to right go the Chippewas in their maroon uniforms with the gold helmets, gold trim, gold numerals. Maroon pants with a gold stripe on the side and maroon socks. Saginaw Valley counters right to left. Wearing their white home uniforms, blue shoulders, blue numerals, red pants and white socks. Puck drop at center. We are underway here at Saginaw Bay Ice Arena. Puck played behind the net. Now McClellan digs it out, but it's intercepted by the Chippewa. St. Martin, or St. Andre had that knocked off his stick, but the Cardinals got it a shot right on. And it's knocked away to the corner by Rove and a penalty coming up here on the Chippewas here at the 222 mark. Taken down was Aaron Shaheen into the box. Goes Austin Whaley. Now moving up right wing, here's Nemeth. Nemeth across that line, right side, cross ice feed to Carter. Carter in the left circle, drop pass for Rowling. He's able to push it over, a shot. And save the rebound, they score! Troy McLaughlin on the first step. Potted the rebound after the shot from the right wing circle. And Thomas Rofe, it, the both netminders had some trouble with rebound control last night. And it finally pays off. And it finally works to their detriment, rather. And at 3.54, it's 1-0 Saginaw Valley State. Now Dorn Cypher with speed left wing. He's across the line in with a shot, and they score! It squeaked under Thomas Rove's pad. He went down into the butterfly. He got a piece of it, but it wasn't enough to stop the puck completely. It worked its way through, and, and uh, Zach Dorn Cypher gets the Cardinals' second goal, and again, they strike on the power play. At 17, 36. 15, 52 left here in the second period. 233 left in the Owen Campbell five-minute major. Nemeth plays it off of his skate across that line right side. Will work down into the corner and behind the net. He's knocked off the puck, but will regain it at the hash marks across the way at the boards. Well, sends it near side, rolling top of the right circle. Will work to the point. He'll send it back across to Nemeth. Nemeth had it. Had it knocked away from him, and the Chippewas are unable to get it out. Good play at the line. Now Nemeth working into the slot, ripped that shot, and he scores! And he falls down, the Chippewas have to maintain composure here as Nemeth ripped the shot into the top last corner. And it is now 3-0 in favor of the Cardinals. That, that was made possible by a keeping at the line as the Chippewas, Keegan Moore tried to clear it out, but it was unsuccessful. And that led, uh, that puck came right out of the stick of, of Nemeth. And it is a 3-0 hockey game at 4.39. It is Charlie Hayes is gonna go for a cross check to put the Cardinals back on the power play here at 9.20. They head to Dorn Cypher across the line left side. He'll pull up top of the circle along the boards, looking for a pass to the near side, and Sawyer 
was had a gaping net, and he fanned on the one-timer. Now right, you know, right check ahead, near side, a back across to right check, he lost control of the puck, and they score! And right check gets the Chippewas on the board on a broken play out in front, and they are, and the Chippewas get back within two, it's three to one! Across the way, entering the zone, is Kubiak. The Cardinal captain controls across the way, up top to Dorn Cypher. He'll work to the top of the slot. Uncontested, a shot, and he scores! 4-1! The Cardinals lead another five-on-three goal. Another power play goal for the Cardinals. They have been unstoppable on the man advantage. Here as 59 seconds left in the penalty to Campbell. It's another five-on-three goal. This one coming at 11.49. And the Chippewans are back to full strength and are on the power play here. Working out here shorthanded is Brett Nelson. He's taken hard to the boards at the line. Here, sign along the boards. Now a pass, here's Gibbs in. Gibbs, we get a shot, he scores! Isaac Gibbs on the power play! And the Chippewas are back within two. It is four to two, Isaac Gibbs. Striking at 13.37. Gibbs picked up an outlet pass from the right side of the Chippewa and it made its way all across the ice. Gibbs picked it up just outside the line on the left side, worked into the left circle and picked the corner out from Jacobs. Jacob Witters. And it's a Draw on the left wing circle here. Again, Keelan Baker to dig in with Travis Nemeth. Draw one. Saginaw gets it up to the line. Jordan Cooper backhands that into the in and behind the net. Puck free. Isaac Gibbs fishes it out in front, but it was intercepted. Now Cooper walks in a shot save the right and scores! That Chippewas have come back and brought themselves back within one. Rebound control strikes again as Jacob Winters was unable to control the Jordan Cooper shot from the bottom, from the middle of the right circle. And the puck popped up on the left side and right on the doorstep was Isaac Gibbs, fresh out of the penalty box. And he jams it home, it's 4-3. Over the line on side, a pass across from Porzondic was intercepted. Now the Cardinals right to left. Carter put a bounce pass off the boards, was intercepted. And now here's Poisanti with a rush. He'll work in over the line, into the up, into the shot. He scores! Andrew Poisanti and the Chippewas have come back with three unanswered goals to tie up the hockey game at 7.29. Now Andrew Poisanti picked up a loose puck off of a skate, off of the boards, and it took an odd hop off of the Saginaw Valley player along the boards across the way, and he picked up the puck, worked around the outside of the circle, and as a goaltender, Jacob Winters was up against the post, but he uh, he didn't have the entire post, co post covered as Porzadek was able to sh sneak it short side and into the back of the net. It's picked up by Kubiak. Kubiak moving it ahead to Hacker. Hacker hip checked at center ice. They've got a chance. Working it all alone on Rolf. Just missed the net far side. Oh my goodness. Troy McLaughlin bidding for his second of the night. The Chippewas cleared down the ice. And there is a delayed penalty on the Cardinals. Chippewas will have a power play to start overtime. Time. Chippewas lose the draw at center. Have to go back for their own... Defend, have the go back to their own defensive zone, working right to left here at the start of this overtime. He's down the right wing, he'll reach the red line, throw it around the boards. With speed, Jay Nadeau picks it up in the near corner. He'll throw it up the boards near side, Isaac Gibbs, quarter of a minute left on the man advantage. Across the way, shot through traffic, deflected in front to save the rebound, is cleared by the Cardinals right in on Rolf. He had to make a beautiful, he had to make a good save. They're staying on his toes, two seconds to go in the man advantage. All work down behind, 20 seconds to go here in overtime. It's worked up top, thrown down low, but it was blocked by Cardinal on front. Now a feed out in front. It was deflected out to center. Christopher Martin's got to be careful with what he does with the puck here. It's sent down to uh, the Saginaw end, and that'll do it for overtime. And 
That will do it for this one. A 4-4 tie.